In this quick video guide, I want to show you a really nice, simple and free tool that you can find online, which uh, will uh, help you to do conversions between pixels, centimeters, millimeters, and DPI, and so on. So let's get from the beginning here. So if you just look for pixel centimeters converter, you will go down here and this is it. It's called www.blitzresults.com pixels. This is a website which offers a variety of uh, calculators. So if you go directly in the main page, which is this one here, you will see many different calculators for mathematics and diet, sports, energy saving. So you have a lot of stuff here, but this is especially uh, well, this is specific for pixels and centimeters right here. We'll also find others. So if we want to look for, for example, inches instead of uh, centimeters, you can find as well. Okay, but we're talking about pixels and centimeters because I am Italian and in other countries we use centimeters and uh, millimeters, of course. So I started to think about this video when one visitor of a YouTube channel here asked me uh, the precise uh, number of pixels for a certain uh, printed document. So, for example, here, if I switch to centimeters to pixels, these measures are in centimeters and these represent um, international uh, A4 paper. So this is the size for international A4. So if I want to know how many pixels I need to create a really high quality print, uh, well, I can set the values here for the width of my paper and my height in centimeters. And then I can go down here and set 300 DPI. And it's already telling me this is for printing and say calculate. Now this is showing me how many pixels I need in my image, in my digital image, to have the best quality for a printed paper, A4 paper. That's it. So I need at least 2480 for pixels for width and 305, uh, sorry, 3508 for the height of my paper. So this is a really useful tool because then you, you know, uh, perhaps if you want to uh, take some shots with your camera or with your smartphone camera, this is letting, letting you know how many pixels you need. Now let's think about something smaller. Maybe I want to do something uh, like 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters. Okay. And I do calculate. Now you can see I need less pixels in my images. Now, where do I see the pixels that are in my image? And I will show you another really nice tool. And then we will get back to the pixel converter. And this, this one, you can type resize pixel and press enter. And that's the first result right here. And this is real, real simple. You just have to upload an image. Now this is in Italian, but you will see it in your own language. And I will just upload a random image here. Okay, let's go for this one from my computer. There it is. So this is a, a screenshot here. And you can see it's telling me the pixels right away. So I can right away know the original length and height or again this is only in Italian but you will have it in your own language so this is a really useful tool it's also telling me down here well the size and the how many kilobyte or megabyte or whatever you you can see it down here and the format now with this one you can change here you can cut only one part of the image so for example you can say cut and I only have this now I have the difference between the original and the current and I can like mirror, I can rotate, I can compress by telling him a precise number of megabytes 
So I can say, yeah, compress this into one megabyte, for example, and say compress. And also I can convert from JPEG to other formats. So it's a really fast, easy, free tool that you can use to know, for starter, how big is your image in pixels, and also to convert and make other operations. Now, when you know how, how big your image is, let's say that this is now 1000 times 600. So if I say here, okay, let me know what I can do with an image that it's 1000 times 600. Let me know how many centimeters I can use in 300 dpi, which is the best. This is 300 pixel per inch print. So this is the best print that you can get. So if I say calculate, okay, now I know that with that image there, I can print at the highest quality, just eight centimeters times five centimeters approximately. So this is really useful, a really useful tool to understand what's, what it's the possibility of your image. Now you can also print at the F of the quality, which is 150 DPI, so 150 pixels per inch and you will see just a small difference. Now this is the best quality, but you can also use something in between. Perhaps you can enter your own value here. So if you click here, you can set, for example, 200 pixel per inch, it will work. So if I say calculate, now I can see that I can print a bigger paper here in centimeters, but with a little less quality. And then we have the 72 pixel per inch or DPI, which is the screen resolution. So when you are working with a website or with something that goes only digital, like uh, video, video montage, or you know whatever compositing, that's only that's the only pixel you will need per inch. So they are just 72 pixel per inch that you need. So basically you can work with larger images on the screen than on paper. Well, you can do then your own calculation, your own consideration. I just showing you the tool and you can continue to investigate this topic if you like it. If you use inch rather than centimeters or millimeters, well, don't worry, you will just find a simple converter. If you do, if you do convert inch, uh, centimeters, for example, you will find already Google gives you this formula that you can use. So it's pretty easy to do all this other calculation right here. And especially if you live in the United States or um, maybe also, well, other English countries. Okay. Now, if you want to know other software like this or similar, but also 3D software, 2D software, video editing software, and so on, subscribe to our channel because we publish videos, we publish courses. If you go in the playlist, you will see English video courses in 3D design, 3D modeling, 3D rendering, and also other stuff you may be interested in. And also you can support us with a small donation using this community page here and this PayPal link or through the store. So thanks for watching this video and see you in the next guide.